Now, as the Taliban cements its grip over Afghanistan and continues to reimpose their rule, the war-torn region is witnessing some visible changes. From a changed wall to a new stamp on visas, experts fear the Taliban 2.0 will not be different from its first stint as the supreme rulers. Now, the first international passenger flight to take off from Afghanistan since the chaotic U.S. military airlift has landed in Qatar. And as the Kabul airport becomes operational again, recent images from the airport show that the main entrance of the airport, which had a banner of the Hamid Karzai International Airport, has been removed. The text now only reads Kabul International Airport. A mural at the former United States Embassy in Kabul has been covered with a huge painting of the Taliban flag. The famous wall in Kabul was known for its painting of young girls who could be seen smiling. The message along the painting read, I am the future of Afghanistan. It was a symbol of hope and inspiration for all. However, that wall has now been replaced with the painting of the Taliban flag. This drastic whitewashing of the wall has come at a time when the women of Taliban-controlled country are protesting for their rights. Women are up in arms and taking to the streets to raise their voices against the exclusion of women in the government, among several other discriminatory issues. Moving on to the Afghanistan visa, the changes are visible and the stamp and watermark of the Taliban logo on the Afghan visa, which has now replaced Afghanistan's map. While Taliban claim to be new and improved, these changes hint at the revival of the old disgraced methods that the group practiced before 2001. All eyes are now on Taliban and what further changes they will bring about in Afghanistan. <laughs> The Taliban have formed a government and it is anything but inclusive. Now, the Taliban is being condemned for having a government which excludes over half of its people and warning that is coming from neighbor Iran. Now, former Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif said the Taliban are repeating a horrifying strategic mistake in Afghanistan. He said that it was time to engage and include. Zarif added that Afghan people won't give in to the coercive authority. Current Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian also had a message for the Taliban. He emphasized the formation of an inclusive government. He said that Iran and Afghanistan's other neighbors support intra-Afghan talks. So who exactly is the Taliban is in the Taliban government? There are United Nations designated terrorists. As expected, there are no women or minorities. As for Iran, it has been carefully watching the developments unfold in Afghanistan. It is also worth noting here that Iran had backed the anti-Taliban Northern Alliance in the 1990s and early 2000s. However, recently, Tehran said that the Taliban was part of today's reality of Afghanistan. Stakes are high for Iran. It has been bolstering its border and refugee influx from Afghanistan. It is already hosting more than 3 million Afghan refugees. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.